guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do this makeup look. It's a combo. I didn't know what direction I was going. I knew I wanted to do fall vibes. I wanted to use products that I thought you would all like. No lashes. I did use liner. I used the Chanel and the Dior more burgundy liners for fall and a matte more dark fall lip and some of my favorite foundations, a new blush that I think you'll love. So if you'd like to see this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, we're going to start off with one of my favorite for years, the Sicily Tensor. This is kind of like a gel and it's kind of like skincare and a primer in one. And what I like about it is perfect for all year round and especially in the summer because it's light, but it does have like a little bit of a grippiness to it. Like when it dries down, you just smooth it on and you'll see my face get red as I touch it. It's just the way it is. You smooth it on and it does give you a little bit of tackiness. Not as much as like the super grip ones, but I think you can see that. This video is in collaboration with Nordstrom and I was thinking of what do I want to do? And I want to focus on fall and fall colors. We're even gonna do a darker lip, so hang with me. Let's start off with, I've got two foundations up here that have been my latest go-to favorites. It's been these, all the way. Every time I use something else, I don't like it as much. And it's the Tint Idol in 355N and the Ambient Hourglass in number eight. I'm gonna use this today. I've got a pretty fresh beauty blender here. I think I've used it one time. It is damp. I wet it completely, I wring it out, and then I wring it out again in a washcloth. It gives great coverage. I did burn my head last night with the curling iron. And let me tell you, it hurt. It hurt for a long time. I'm surprised it didn't leave a bigger mark because even when we were watching TV, I could just feel it burning. As you guys know, I'm used to standing in my bathroom and looking in the mirror like really close. And I look real close and then I back up and I do all of those things. So you can see it's just a great coverage. It's not too over the top, evens me out, but you can still see skin through it. You could definitely get a heavier coverage with this if you wanted to. Okay, I do know that I'm gonna wear my hair down, so I'm not gonna worry about working it into my hairline. And I do like going over my lips somewhat and my eyelids and everything. Okay, so now let's use one of my favorite concealers that I think would work for a lot of people. This whole video is gonna be things that I think would work for oily skin, all the way to dry skin. Just very versatile makeup for fall. I've got so many of you here. I'm blessed to have so many of you here. I always wanna do something for everybody. So we're gonna put a little bit, you can see I'm running out of it. I'm gonna put a little bit here. And I do carry my concealer over my lids. I do realize the value of a good base on your eyes. Like if you are doing a very intricate, pretty eyeshadow look and you really want it to stay and you want your colors to be vibrant, I would use MAC Soft Ochre or Painterly paint pots. There is a difference and I definitely see it. But on my day-to-day, -day, I don't use anything. I just use concealer. Today we're going to use one of my favorites. So good. It is the Givenchy number no. three rose colored powder. You can see where I've been dipping my sponge in there. Let me get some out in the lid and then I pack it back down because this is one you really can't use the lid. It'll make a mess getting back in there. But I try to just even it out like that and then I dip my damp sponge like that and then I really like pounce it on my hand and work it in. And then I take this and set. And then I use what's left in my hand for like my forehead area. And then I do dip it in again for the other eye. Then what's left 
on my hand. I usually just get with the brush that I'm gonna use for the rest of my makeup and I might even, whatever's left in the lid. This really does smooth. I would say it smooths and brightens a little bit better than Laura Mercier, but you know, I'll always have Laura Mercier. Another thing I just wanted to mention is I've been all about the eye creams lately and wow, did I notice how much I needed one when I went to New Mexico. So that's been good for me to see how it is in other places and what you girls may need that I don't need and you're gonna need a good eye cream. And if you're like me, you're thinking, oh, well, it's not gonna do anything, it's just temporary. But I'm telling you, when I looked at my leg and it was wrinkled and dry and looked like a piece of wood and then you put lotion on it and it revives it, that's kind of how I feel about your under eyes. So one that I really like for the day, I've been using for a while, is just this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. So if you're a fan of the enriched face base, you will love this. So I do have that on. Wanted to tell you one of my go-to fall nail colors. I ordered a new one. This is the Rouge Noir from Chanel. For a long time, this wasn't even available in the US. We could get Vamp, which is a little bit more red and has a little bit of sparkles or shimmer in it. But Rouge Noir is the color that they used in Pulp Fiction. So it's very 90s, very chic. I do have on gel nails or else I would have this on but I love this and it's beautiful on toes. New blush that I got and it's very fall, very me, very 90s me because back then I wore Chanel Tempting Beige was my just go-to blush. I don't even know if I had another one to be honest with you. I remember I could open my drawer and almost everything was Chanel, the little packets and I loved it. But I just got this Givenchy blush. I've ordered this before in the like pastel pink, it's kind of like a blue pink, but this time I got the Organza Sienna. So pretty. So we're gonna just put a little bit out on our lid and you can see how it's the different colors combined. And you know what? I'm jumping the gun here a little bit. I need to put on, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> this is my long time go-to bronzer. I love it. The reason I quit using it is because I had used it so much I felt like you guys were getting tired of it, but it's so good. This is the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream from Chanel and it's the Deep Bronze. Don't be afraid of that. It's just a different tone. The regular is a lighter, really more of an orangey or peachy, kind of like an all over type color. This is a much better color for true bronzing and sculpting. Looks terrible but looks good on the skin. I'm gonna use this, which is the It Cosmetics brush, a go-to. I can honestly say most of these products I'm gonna show you today are just go-to products I recommend for everyone. And this is one of them. So you just get your brush in here, sculpt and bronze away. See how nice it even goes over the powder. It's like, it, even though it's a cream, it really lasts. See how easy it is? Now this, I kind of go off because I really like to chisel, chisel that jawline and put that little bit of shadow under there. And then I have a longer nose, so sometimes I just go underneath there and then I'm gonna wipe my brush off on a, <laughs> this is my system. I use a new hair turban every night and it's like a microfiber type fabric. And then in the morning, I use it again to squeeze my beauty blender out in and to just use. And that way I feel like I haven't, I don't know. You know how you just hate to use something one time and then have to wash it? Okay, yes, 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 I love it. I don't think I'm gonna use a highlight. Should I? I did order this, which is an old time favorite from Jane Iredale. It's the Moon Glow. So let's just use a little bit of it. I'm just gonna tap a little bit. Here, watch this. Like Brooke used to say when she was little, hotch this, mama, hotch this. <laughs> Never forget those times, will we? It is beautiful in the summer. And just to give your decollete a glow, oh my gosh, it's so good. And it's mineral. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna wipe it off. And we're gonna go into this Sienna Pink blush here. So I've worked all of that in my brush. I'm just gonna tap it off and do my cheeks. And I like to kinda go into the bronzer a little bit. Some people really love blushed cheeks all through here. 
I think it's according to, of course, your preference. It's according to your face shape. It's according to your age. Do you want that trendy makeup look because the blush was so in? But for fall and for my face and my look, I like to kind of stay out here on my cheekbone. And the reason I do that is so that I don't get any like patches and you know, my skin might wrinkle up right there. I don't want it to be blotchy. I want it to be smooth. Okay, I really do like these blushes. When I got the pink one, I liked it. And I just think that they're good and they're not dangerous. You know what I mean? It's like not too much. Let's do the lip because I want to blow your mind and do a darker lip. I've been thinking about the what liner to use. I did get this new one from Monica Blunder and I was pretty impressed. The name is Renee, and it's a very good nude. I could use that. The Kylie Lip Kits. This is the one called Kylie, and I think it's gonna be a little light, but we're gonna try it, and then we might blot it off. And I did buy a new Anastasia liquid lip and this one is a little bit darker this one is hudson it's kind of like i want that brownie tone but i don't want it severe i just want it a good fall nude lip so that's what we're going to do so let's start with this kylie see how i'm going right over that foundation that's on my lips and i'm going right on my lip line first let's try this kylie lip these liquid lips they're valuable you can even use these as lip liners. I don't know if you've been here with me, you remember when I got into that and oh my gosh, it looks so good. I don't know why I get out of things that I love so much. It's not gonna be dark enough. Promised you a dark lip and I will deliver, but I love that so much. Let's just leave that on. <laughs> I promise I will. Let's leave that on just for a few minutes. Let's go to brows. One of my favorite brow products that I think you would love for many reasons, especially if you're like me and you don't want mega crazy brows, you're not looking for brows on fleek. This Dior, it's blonde. I like that it is this bent, sorry that it's dirty. See how it's just like the color of my eyebrows. So I love that color. Then you can twist it down. And then this is like a little kabuki on the other side. It's amazing how this little thing will actually get in your brow hairs and kind of, you know, spread it out too without removing it. Love this. And then my two favorite go-to brow gels, easy, not goopy, not laminating or anything. Even though this one does say laminating brow wax, it doesn't. This is the Too Faced and I love the Benefit and I will list them down below. Benefit has that cool brush that you can kind of lay on its side and you can really slick them back and this just kind of puts them back evenly like that. Now that you have seen this lip, let's try this one. I'm going to remove the majority of this, but I don't think we need another lip liner. That is so good. Okay, so this is Anastasia Hudson. Okay, it's going to be like a toffee, like a pinky brown. Yesterday, I wore a brown brown and, you know, everything was gray. Oh, I love brown. 90 supermodel. Oh, I loved it. About an hour later, it did not look good. Brown liquid lips don't look good once you have eaten or they've cracked up a little bit. It just did not wear well. So I think you're better off with like a pinky brown. That is a good fall lip. I knew this was gonna be good. Let's see, I did get this YSL candy balm. This is better for your Carolyn Bessette Kennedy, your Kate Moss kind of carefree lip. It's glossy, but it's got a good consistency. Throw in your purse, wear every day. I love it, but I wouldn't really consider it fall. And you know what I got too, just for nostalgia, and I thought we would love it is I repurchased this Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. I remember getting this when I was in high school and I would just keep it in my jacket pocket, you know, and put it on. That's how easy it is. But I remembered it having more color, but it is a good just flush of color. I mean, a classic. I'm trying to think of the look I want to do here. I want to do my typical look, but I want to use pencils. So I think I'm gonna use these Laura Mercier eye pencils. I have dark cocoa, the brick, 
which is also a great fall eye color. It's a little different. Kind of thinking this through with you guys. I've got the Dior liner in who knows what, but it's like a a wine color and then I've got the Chanel in the Rouge Noir and then I've also got don't ever forget about this palette the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a combo let's do a crease color of Cashmere Bunny this is just basically to contour my eye or your eye. I would do it before you did your eyebrows, but you could have even done that with your bronzer brush or your blush brush, because when you brush it across your eyes, it's gonna catch your eye bone right there and it's gonna give you a natural contour. That's, that's honestly one of the best ways. I'm gonna take this same color and go under my eyes right there on my lid. And then I'm going to take that same color. I always like a winged out shadow because my eyes are downturned and they're smaller. First, let's take this espresso liner. Get a good line down by our lash line. You always, always wanna start off with that because that's what's gonna make your lashes look thicker. You don't want that space in between your liner and your lashes. That happens with me a lot. So I need something like this to make sure I'm getting down there. And then let's do something I rarely do. Let's do the bottom waterline because to me, that's a little bit more fall and a little bit more winter is a little bit more in the waterline and you know just that look then I'm gonna do the upper now if you wanted to use like this brick color now would be the time to just use it sparingly like out here and that gives you a little bit more of that tone and see how it pulls your eyes up and out and now let's use I'm trying to think what you would like more and I do think that the Dior is going to be easier to use so let's use the Dior. I am gonna do a wing. You do not have to do a wing. I'm gonna do a small wing just within this bone. I'm just meeting up with that darkness. I'm not gonna wear lashes today. Honestly, this is not too far off from that shadow color. So you could come out a little bit further if you're like me and you're trying to make your eyes bigger. Do you want me to use this just because? We know now that the vamp is darker. And honestly, this goes on well. Wow. Honestly, everything's better when it's layered anyway. So I'm hoping I, at least I showed you one thing at a time and you'll be able to see what you like the most. I can't help it, I get carried away. Oh, I got this, the new Too Faced Better Than Sex Primer. So this is gonna be like the other one I've shown you that is a primer, but yet is dark. And I'm not gonna curl my lashes because I just typically don't like curl lashes. So love this. If you like light mascara, this might be enough. But I tell you what, I might just use this on the lower. And if it's like most mascara type things, it will get better as we use it. And then one of my favorite mascaras that Nordstrom carries, oh, I do like the Lancome. Hypnose Drama, that's another good one. But I thought I would use this Gucci one because it's good too and it has this little slim wand. So I'm gonna use this to kind of bulk them up now. So you can see I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm gonna do all the things to like clump them up some and really get some bulk on there. I even sometimes don't wipe off the end. It's kind of like when you're icing a cake and you just put a bunch on there and then you spread it out. Now you know this is a lot for me. I would prefer a nude lip. But as these lips go, I do like them. Take my hair down. Like you know, I usually curl my hair in the fall and the winter. So this is my fall vibe makeup using some of my favorites, some really good new products. Thank you to Nordstrom for asking me to partner with them. I love it, <laughs> you know I do. And I hope you liked it. Tell me down below what was your favorite part, what products you liked, and tell me what makeup looks you want because we're gonna do them no matter what and I want to do what you want to see. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.